Geekscode also provides a wonderful example of authenticity. I was doing a workshop a few years ago. Every year I, I do a whole week for exhibitor show about exhibit design uh, conference in Las Vegas. And I was doing a workshop talking about the Geek Squad. Um, and a person raised their hand and said, hey, let me tell you why I think the Geek Squad works. I'm like, okay, you know, you know well, why do you think it's such a, it works? He goes, because they're cool geeks. <laughs> they're not geeky geeks, they're nerdy geeks, that wouldn't work. You know, nerdy geeks are like that old Saturday Night Live routine. You remember one like, you know, move. I was saying, you know, that guy, you know, it's the best. You don't want to be around this, this you know, was that Chris Farley that did, did that? Um, you know, this is something you don't mind, I would characterize Geek Squad, you don't mind sharing the same space with a person in your home, in your cubicle. It feels good to have them around. Um, so, you know, it's this juxtaposition, this polarity of cool geek, right? So I'll, I'll tell you what, how we're going to end this little riff on authenticity right here in the start. Eventually you're going to ask yourself, what's your dominant polarity? What's cool geek for you? Because having that kind of tension bef between these sim seemingly different things, I think is what makes things real. It's what makes the Geek Squad real. In fact, it can inform many other electronics retailers have tried to emulate the Geek Squad. Circuit City's got their like frog dog, green dog, whatever, it doesn't work, whatever it is, it's just really lame. Um, there's geeks on wheels, they got like tape on their glasses, nerdy geek. In fact, Robert Stevens will tell you, if you ever claim that anything he's doing is a gimmick, he, it's the only time I've ever seen him get mad. He goes, it's not a gimmick. A gimmick you do for its own sake. He says, we have a reason behind everything that we do. You know, company issued shoes. Okay, get this. He was vacationing at some beach somewhere. I saw Copper Tone drive down the beach, like straightening out the sand, and then with a roller that was putting the Copper Tone, reversed out logo of Copper Tone, putting down the logo in the sand. He immediately thought, this is his creative brain, he immediately thought, shoes. I'm going to reverse image the logo of Geek Squad in the bottom of the shoe so whenever a special agent steps in snow or mud, it leaves the image behind. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? <laughs> detail, attention to detail. Dominant organizing principle for everything you do, comedy with a straight face. Cool, but understanding cool geeks is a way of deciding if you do want to compete with them and be the number two player in the industry, um, maybe the approach to take is to, be, to, is to define geek cool. See, geek cool is different than cool geeks. Geek cool, you're not driving a black and white VW Beetle, you might be driving a customized Scion. Right? You're probably wearing sleek James Bondish kind of more metrosexual attire than the, than the black and white kind of thing. Okay? You get the idea? So what's your key polarity? Is a key, we're going to end there, right? And that's why Geek Squad provides such a wonderful example. They're clearly this, it's, it's such a staged, artificial, contrived thing to do for a computer repair. We're talking a computer repair, and yet it works because I think it's real.